Hello, my people. We'll find him over here. Thanks for checking out the video. Welcome to Mount Snow. We are here in the blue bubble lift. <laughs> yeah. Not the golden bubble lift. And today was pretty icy in the beginning, but now it is snowing quite, quite a lot. So we're excited. Let's go in here. people and welcome to the very first winter edition of my mountain review series. I want to see mountains again! Mountains! Today we're talking about Mount Snow and why after having skied there almost every season for the last 10 years I think it's a great option for most people. Throughout the video I'll go over the basic info that I think you need to know if you plan to visit Mount Snow and towards the end I'll talk about some pros and cons and share my thoughts based on my own experience skiing there. But before we get into that, just a little tidbit for those of you who don't know. On this channel, I'm all about sharing my thoughts and experiences on the best spots to check out and the best gear to bring with. So if, like me, you want to spend more time outside appreciating the finer things in life, do yourself a favor and consider subscribing. Also, feel free to check out the description below for links to any of the gear or information resources I mention. Alrighty then, without further ado, let us begin. Located just 40 minutes off of I-91, within the boundaries of Green Mountain National Forest, Mount Snow is arguably the closest decently sized skiing destination for anyone driving up from either Boston or New York. The resort has 20 chairlifts that provide access to 600 total skiable acres across the mountain's 88 trails. And despite its location in southern Vermont, Mount Snow often plays host to better snow conditions than its northerly competitors due to its unmatched arsenal of snowmaking guns that provide coverage over a whopping 83% of the mountain's skiable terrain. Although the resort provides a myriad of options for everyone ranging from beginners to backcountry experts, Mount Snow's real claim to fame derives from its pride and joy, Corinthia, dubbed as the number one terrain park on the East Coast in 2018 by Transworld Snowboarding. The terrain park has three chairlifts that provide access to a whopping 100 acres of terrain park trails, a larger area than the entire mountain I grew up skiing at. In addition to your basic ski chalets with overpriced cafeteria food and cubbies where you can stash your boot bag for the day, the mountain's various lodges also offer a slew of amenities to make your visit more enjoyable, including but not limited to daycare services for kids ages 6 weeks to 6 years old, a free bag check at both the main base and Corinthia lodges, and a natural wellness spa on the first floor of the Grand Summit Hotel. Mount Snow offers daily private lessons for aspiring skiers and riders of all ages, in addition to group lessons for kids ages 3 to 14. You can book your lessons at mountsnow.com learn or by calling 800-889-4411. In addition to the gear shops and tuning services located throughout the lodges, the resort provides rental options at all three of the mountain's base areas for those who don't own or didn't bring their own gear. Although its location does attract some of the largest crowds in New England, the lift lines do move relatively fast, especially the Bluebird Express. A six-person cushioned chair with a retractable windshield that combines the efficient loading and unloading process of a chairlift with the warmth and comfort of a gondola. It's honestly amazing. Best chair I've ever ridden. Bravo. Bravo. So, now that you know some of the basics, I'd like to share some of my personal thoughts after having skied here for almost 10 seasons. As a kid, most of my skiing experience took place in Canada. Every winter, my family would make the six-hour drive up from Boston to spend a week at my grandparents' house in Quebec's Laurentian Mountains. From about the age of two, every year, on the morning after we arrived, my grandpa would bring me to the rental shop at Mont Saint-Sauveur 
get me fitted for a pair of skis, boots, and poles before dropping me off at the ski school where I spent almost every morning of every winter break I ever had. Once in a while, I'd spend a day at Bretton Woods or Wachusett on either a school trip or with family friends, but for the most part, my skiing career took place at either Morin Heights, saint Sever, and occasionally Mont Tremblant whenever one of my mom's siblings felt like chaperoning for the day. Does he stop? Daddy, does he stop? No, he uh -huh. bombs. I only started skiing in Vermont after I got into college and joined the UMass Ski and Board Club. It was awesome. For the first time in my life, I was constantly surrounded by like-minded skiers and riders. Every Sunday of second semester, for like 50 or 60 bucks per person, the club would buy us breakfast, lift tickets, and shuttle a busload of us to a different mountain in Vermont. Aside from the planned trips, movie premieres, and rail jams, every fall, we were always offered season passes specifically priced for college kids, which for around 400 bucks provided us with unlimited access to at least three or four mountains. The list of participating mountains would shift around from year to year, but Mount Snow always made its way onto one of the college passes or another. And given Amherst's close proximity to I-91, it was pretty easy to justify the 85 minute drive, even on quote unquote school days. Now, despite my nearly three decades of skiing experience, I rarely spend any time in terrain parks. During my sophomore year, I did talk myself into buying a pair of center mounted twin tips in an attempt to expand my freestyle horizons, but I quickly reverted to my tree skiing ways after taking one too many rails to the rear. Now, to people who have never been there, especially those like me who prefer alpine terrain to park skiing, Corinthia's overpowering reputation can kind of project an image of Mount Snow as this haven for park rats. And don't get me wrong, it definitely is, but if Corinthia didn't exist, Mount Snow would still have plenty of options for everyone else. It's not like the whole mountain is littered with park features that can clog up ordinary trails with the people who are either waiting their turn or walking back up the side of the trail. In fact, Corinthia is pretty well contained within its own corner of the mountain. The reason I bring this up is because I feel like there were a lot of times, especially during my first year or two of college, when I'd try to convince my friends to go somewhere besides Mount Snow, like Stratton, which is only another 30 minutes up the road, because whenever we'd go to Mount Snow, my friends would just want to spend the whole day in the park. Eventually I got bored of following them around Corinthia, and after a bit of exploring I discovered that Mount Snow actually has some fantastic gladed areas that, weather permitting, could easily keep me entertained throughout an entire day of skiing. As with any New England mountain, the best tree skiing conditions at Mount Snow always arrive in the later months of the season, after the snowpack has had some time to accumulate. In February and March, I've spent entire days just skiing the vast gladed areas on the mountain's north face. The ski boundary is so far off the side of Olympic that you can spend the whole day over there and not ski the same line twice. Aside from the north face, there are several other gladed patches scattered throughout the mountain between the various runs, but if you want the shortest lift lines with the fewest noobs, the north face is the place to be. And that's really all there is to it. In sum, Mount Snow is a great option for everyone from beginners to pro athletes. It's a great day trip option for those driving up from Boston or New York and offers a multitude of accommodation options for those who wish to stay a bit longer. And at least for my part, I know I'll continue to go back. So there you have it, folks. I want to wish a very warm welcome to those of you who are new to the channel. If this is the first video of mine that you've seen, I just want to let you know that I also make camping and hiking videos in addition to the videos like this one. So if you're curious about some of the gear I use or you just want to learn about some exciting new places via yours truly, I'll leave some links down below that should suit you uh, quite nicely. Alrighty, my people, that concludes this episode of the Finder Bub Show. If you've already been to Mount Snow or you're thinking about checking it out for the first time, I'd love to have you comment below, especially if you think your insight can help me disprove something that I think I already know. But before you do, I just want to once again thank you oh so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're planning your next trip or looking for new gear, don't let the small details stress you out. Remember, life's an adventure, so relax, breathe in the outdoors, and don't forget to appreciate the finer things in life. I'll see you out there, people. Peace. I hope I got that. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> I hope I got that. <laughs>